Hello all, Shedwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Django Unchained from 2012. It's directed by Quentin Tarantino and stars Jamie Foxx and Christoph Waltz. That's spelled D-J-A-N-G-O, the D is silent, as Jamie Foxx's Django tells us during an intense scene in this film. Now this film does share some sensibilities with a spaghetti western from 1966 called Django, but I've never seen that one. And although I love Italian horror films, I'm not really one for spaghetti westerns, or westerns in general really, so I'm not well schooled in them. The few spaghetti westerns done by Mario Bava that we've covered already in this review project is about as far as my education goes on the subject. So, unfortunately, if you're hoping for a review where I pull from this or that to help inform on Django Unchained, don't expect that. You're not going to get that. What you are going to get is a love letter to a fan-fucking-tastic film. Django Unchained takes place before the Civil War where a freed slave is on a quest to find his wife who is sold to another plantation than he was. This movie is awesome. So much to love. Now, let's get the uncomfortable business out of the way first. There is a lot of the N-word in this film. A lot. So much so that if you were to play a drinking game where you were to so much as take a sip whenever someone used the word, you'd definitely be dead by the end of the near three-hour runtime. It can get uncomfortable to hear it over and over again, but as often as it is said, and again, it is said often, it never feels forced or overused. However, I am very much aware that that really isn't my call to make, and so that's just my opinion, and moving on. This film is also fairly brutal, including a bloody fight to the death and a man being torn apart by dogs. However, you might never believe that Quentin Tarantino actually toned the finished product's barbarism down quite a bit. This film is one of the few villainous turns for Leonardo DiCaprio, and it is by far his best villain in that he is a right bastard that you just can't wait to watch die. Christoph Waltz is sheer perfection in this film, which is probably why he won a Best Supporting Acting Oscar in 2013 for the film, making it his second Oscar for a Quentin Tarantino film after his Best Supporting Actor Oscar for Inglorious Bastards in 2010. There is also a great scene in there with a Ku Klux Klan wannabe group of raiders bitching about the poor bags on their heads that weren't made well enough to provide them with the correct eye holes and the whole issue almost sidelines what they have come to do. Django forever, I say, as I give Django Unchained an A plus for being exceptional. Tomorrow it's the director's cut of the Shining sequel, Doctor Sleep. See y'all then.